Yeremiahu, Jeremiah 25. The word that came to Yeremiahu concerning all the people of Yahuda in the fourth year of Yahu Yahim, the son of Yoshiyahu, king of Yahuda, that was the first year of Nebuchadne Setsar, king of Babel. The which Yeremiahu the prophet spoke unto all the people of Yehuda and to all the inhabitants of Yerushalayim, saying, From the thirteenth year of Yoshiyahu, the son of Amon, king of Yehuda, even unto this day, that is the three and twentieth year, the word of Yahuwah has come unto me, and I have spoken unto you, rising early and speaking, but ye have not hearkened. And Yahuwah has sent unto you eth all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened, nor inclined eth your ear to hear. They said, Turn ye again and now every one from his evil way and from the evil of your doings, and dwell in the land that Yahuwah has given unto you and to your fathers forever and ever. And go not after other Elohim to serve them and to worship them, and provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands, and I will do you no hurt. Yet ye have not hearkened unto me, says Yahuwah, that ye might provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own hurt. Therefore thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, Because ye have not heard eth my words, behold, I will send and take eth all the families of the north, says Yahuwah, and Nebuchadne Satsar, the king of Babel, my servant, and will bring them against this land, and against the inhabitants thereof, and against all these nations round about, and will utterly destroy them, and make them an astonishment, and a hissing, and perpetual desolations. Moreover, I will take from them the voice of mirth, and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride, the sound of the millstones, and the light of the candle. And this whole land shall be a desolation and an astonishment, and these nations shall serve at the king of Babel seventy years. And it shall come to pass, when seventy years are accomplished, that I will punish the king of Babel and that nation, says Yahuwah, for eth their iniquity and the land of the Kazdim, and will make it perpetual desolations, and I will bring upon that land eth all my words which I have pronounced against it, eth even all that is written in this sefer, which Yeremiahu has prophesied against all the nations. For many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of them also, and I will recompense them according to their deeds, and according to the works of their own hands. For thus says Yahuwah Elohai of Yashara'el unto me, Take eth the wine cup of this fury at my hand, and causeth all the nations to whom I send you to drink it. And they shall drink, and be moved, and be mad, because of the sword that I will send among them. Then took I F the cup at Yahuwah's hand, and made F all the nations to drink, unto whom Yahuwah had sent me, to wit, F Yerushalayim, and F the cities of Yahuda, and F the kings thereof, and F the princes thereof, to make them a desolation, an astonishment, a hissing, and a curse, as it is this day. Eth Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, and Eth his servants, 
and eth his princes, and eth all his people, and eth all the mingled people, and eth all the kings of the land of Uts, and eth all the kings of the land of Pelishtim, and eth Ashkelon, and eth Gaza, and eth Ekron, and eth the remnant of Ashdod, eth Edom, and eth Moab, and eth the children of Ammon, and eth all the kings of Sor, and eth all the kings of Sidon, and eth the kings of the isles which are beyond the sea, eth Didan, and eth Tema, and eth Buzz, and eth all that are in the utmost corners, and eth all the kings of Arabia, and eth all the kings of the mingled people that dwell in the desert, and eth all the kings of Zimri, and eth all the kings of Elam, and eth all the kings of Madai, and eth all the kings of the north, far and near, one with another, and eth all the kingdoms of the world, which are upon the face of the earth, and the king of Shishak shall drink after them. Therefore you shall say unto them, Thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, the yellow high of Yashadael, Drink ye, and be drunken, and spew, and fall, and rise no more, because of the sword which I will send among you, and it shall be, if they refuse to take the cup at your hand to drink, then shall you say unto them, Thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, Ye shall certainly drink, for lo, I begin to bring evil on the city which is called by my name, and should be ye, rather, and should ye be utterly unpunished, ye shall not be unpunished, for I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth, says Yahuwah Sevaoth. Therefore prophesy you against them eth all these words, and say unto them, Yahuwah shall roar from on high, and utter his voice from his holy habitation. He shall mightily roar upon his habitation. He shall give a shout, as they that tread the grapes, against all the inhabitants of the earth. A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth. For Yahuwah has a controversy with the nations. He will plead with all the flesh. Rather, with all flesh, he will give them that are wicked to the sword, says Yahuwah. Thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, Behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation, and a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coasts of the earth. And the slain of Yahuwah shall be at that day from one end of the earth, even unto the un other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered, nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. Howl, ye shepherds, and cry. Wallow yourselves in the ashes. Rather, and cry, and wallow yourselves in the ashes, ye principal of the flock. For the days of your slaughter and of your dispersions are accomplished and ye shall fall like a pleasant vessel, and the shepherds shall have no way to flee, nor the principal of the flock to escape. A voice of the cry of the shepherds and a howling of the principal of the flock shall be heard. For Yahuwah has spoiled at their pasture, and the peaceable habitations are cut down because of the fierce anger of Yahuwah. He has forsaken his covert as the lion, for their land is desolate because of the fierceness of the oppressor and because of his fierce anger.